What's up, guys? Aaron's here with another Brace the Suck Go Rug product. We have the 32 liter kit bag. If anybody's wondering, oh, your arm looks real long, I'm doing a wide lens right now uh, just to kind of get this angle right. Baby sleeping, so I don't want to kind of set up a crazy thing here. But I got this obviously for Christmas. We got in that nice Ranger green. Uh, if you are familiar with these bags, you know that really tough 1000D Cadora guaranteed for life now again this is 32 liters and these are really popular because um you know for some reason obviously you go rux is famous for their book bags and their rucksacks or you want to call them whatever the rucks not book bags excuse me um but i do have a gym bag you can actually see my bullet ruck right there um i also have the 32 liter excuse me was it the 30 i don't know i got a gr2 over there too i think it's a 36 whatever we'll look at it and we'll compare it we'll do comparisons upstairs but yeah so um i have the gym bag also 38 uh, liters and the problem with the 38 liter one it didn't have pockets that's why you can see the 21 has a lot because it has pockets and that's why it goes for so much but the 30 this kit bag a lot of people use it as gym bags or just fit other stuff you know it's designed as that that parachute that stow system if any of you do airborne operations uh, this is the smaller one so it's not exactly the same size um which is probably my first thing is it's a lot smaller than i thought you know it's 32 liters uh, can hold a lot but it is it felt a lot smaller and obviously we'll do a little i'll throw it on me I'll, i'm gonna put the strap that i have for the gym bag on here but it's a lot smaller uh, you can see the tin right over there that's a 10 liter uh bullet ruck and you know you can kind of see the comparison from here but yeah it does have the pockets inside uh which is real nice uh you know because obviously gym bags stuff needs to be separated um which again this is just called a kit bag so you use it for whatever you want but and they, they don't make the gym bags anymore but you can use the gym bag for whatever. You know, you can put your nice stuff over there. You got another big compartment here. So uh, this is like a little end, loose end pockets. And you, so you got the three big pockets there, plus the main compartment, uh, just to keep stuff stored. Uh, separate your wallet, keys, you know, whatever. Change your clothes, boots, whatever you, you know, work, work stuff, whatever. But, um, and this is a nice Ranger Green. Uh, these retail for one twenty-five. dollars um, So you're like, oh, that's pretty expensive for a bag. This is good quality, though. Uh, even this feels good. The little uh, D-rings. But um, everything's guaranteed for life. You do, oh, big thing, too. You also have the outside pockets. So, like, totally skip over those. And you can throw your water in there. Also, like I said, if it's a good gym bag. This is pretty decent gym bag size. I could definitely use it. Um, get a change of clothes. We'll fill this up, though. Get a couple videos. Uh, do a comparisons to my GR2 10 uh 10 liter bullet ruck let you see that a couple other things and we'll load this up and see what we can fit in there um but cool we just want to do a quick turn around check it out get a new patch on there we'll put the strap on there so you guys can see that too so all right if you guys do like enjoy the video be heard hit that like and subscribe and uh we'll do a second part here and check it out all right guys i got the 32 liter kit bag we got that filled up right there dogs may make a guest appearance here I got the 34 liter GR2, we got the 38 liter gym bag, and we got the 10 liter bullet ruck. So I'm gonna do just a little quick comparison, let you see, cause like I said, the size, um, you know, it's a lot smaller than you think, um, but yeah. So there's this, again, direct comparison for the 38 liter gym bag, you see I got the strap on this one here. So you kind of see the size here, and I don't have this one filled up. It's just kind of, I took a lot of stuff out. But there's that got that like you can kind of see how 10 liter which got the size there fit up so i mean that's like a quick little comparison there of that and then again on the gr2 that one right up against it here you know what it looks like size wise again only two liters difference here significant size but uh again it's a nice bag it's definitely smaller than i thought like i said but it has a lot of weight has a lot of room and uh do a quick little unpacking too so you guys can see you know what it looks like here my dog's being goofy um but yeah so that's a little quick uh little video of the the bags there get a little adjusted there but yeah so we'll go ahead and uh dump these out Throw it out, let you see, you know, what I got in the bag just to kind of show, you know, how much stuff it can fit um, and what you think of that, like that. So, all right. All right, so let's get this thing unpacked. Uh, we'll take a look again. 
probably gonna replace my new gym bag with this. So got the 38 liter. Now this does have the actual uh, strap that I will move on to there. So if you wanna see a picture at the end of this, just to kind of show again, you know, what it looks like. Do this, got the sun coming in there through the window. But yeah, so it's a good, it's like a little briefcase, it's almost. But let's see everything we got in here. So again, I know go rough, you know, it's a lot of military. Um, so obviously just make sure it's centered there on the picture. So we can just see everything we got in here. Now we'll start with some civilians. You know, of course we got some uh, silkies, uh, nice little silkies. Got to have your wooby hoodie. Just throw that in there. So again, I'm just trying to show how much stuff this can fit. Now we got our PT shoes. We got PT shorts. We got a PT shirt. We got PT socks. We got uniform top, shirt, socks uniform bottoms, OCP bottoms. We also got the two pairs of boots, Nike boots in there. So again, that's a pretty significant amount of clothes. And just for good measure, you always gotta have the Ranger handbook in there. But again, I didn't even load up those pockets. You know, didn't load up the pockets inside. Um, so you still got tons of room in there. I didn't pack that thing in there, but you kind of see like how filled it was uh, with all that in there, um, just to kind of give that perspective of everything you can keep so i mean like i said that's a lot of stuff um just kind of want to do a quick video show you everything you can pack um i'll throw a little uh the, the strap on there let you see what it looks like dangling from me and then uh that'll be it for the video all right just to kind of show you you know what the strap what it's gonna look like i loosened it up this seems about good for me uh so if i was like walking into the gym something like that my only one complaint is that there's not like a velcro or anything like you know a lot of gym bags have to kind of secure that i know the lighting kind of sucks in here so if you're trying to see the colors um the brown looks good on the ranger green uh, honestly the ranger green kind of accents kind of kind of coyote um anyways um but yeah so i mean that's it the other side it's not a problem you know again the 32 liter kit bag just a quick little that you know maybe we'll do a little follow-up here you know in a year see how it's holding up you know i'm planning to use this as my gym bag maybe take the work bag change your uniform or something like that if you guys like the video be sure to hit that like subscribe uh let me know in the comments if you got a bag what you think or what you're using for your personal bags and uh thanks guys